On April 27, 2013, Army Green Beret Staff Sergeant Mike Simpson and his team were on a combat reconnaissance patrol. Mike was on a uh, all-terrain vehicle, part of his special forces team. He was out running ahead of uh, the rest of his convoy, um, kind of like a forward security element. Mike was from a uh, long line of special operations soldiers in his family. Uh, his all-terrain vehicle was struck by an improvised explosive device. He sustained wounds that resulted in his death. Also assigned to the patrol was a mutual friend. I didn't know Mike. But a friend of his and a friend of mine was Staff Sergeant Tim McGill, six foot, six inches tall, 280 pounds of muscle. Tim and Mike had gone through the Special Forces training course together. Tim and Mike actually were seasoned combat veterans by the time they were on this patrol. Tim was very upset by the loss of Mike. It had a great impact on him, and he expressed that to his family on several emails to home. Staff Sergeant McGill was killed on 21 September 2013, just a few months after his friend Mike. I had the unfortunate honor of uh, helping with the casket detail down there in Ramsey, New Jersey, in Tim's hometown. While I was in New Jersey, it came up as it often does in this work that we do with Mass Fallen Heroes. Did he die in vain? Well, we kind of got like a, a couple different levels of, of work that we do in the military, or three really. We got strategic, operational, and tactical. Strategic's at the highest level. That's the president, the, the, the highest level, the General Casey, the four-star generals, and, and, and they, they kind of plot the course of, of where we want to get to. Then there's an operational level below that, and that's kind of another role that General Casey filled was actually the commander of Iraq. Then below that is down at our level where the gunfighters and, 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 the, and the rest of the soldiers work, and that's the tactical level. At the tactical level, that's the, that's the point where American foreign policy meets the enemy eye to eye and fights it out. You meet the enemy face to face. And talking about dying in vain, when you get down to that level, we fight for the only thing worth dying for. You can, you can argue over politics or strategic policy and things of this nature, but it doesn't really, that, that's not where we're at on the ground when you're looking the enemy in the face or reloading your weapon. We fight for the only thing worth dying for, and that's love. Love for our way of life, love for our country, love for our neighbors, for our families, our wives, our children, love for our teammates. In the height of battle, it's not about national goals. In the height of battle, we fight for each other and that could never be in vain. A friend of ours, upon hearing of Tim's death, wrote an interesting message and he texted it out to a bunch of us. I'm gonna read that now. Again, uh, it was pertaining to uh, Tim's death, September 21st, 2013. And uh, it, this is a personal message. It was sent out to, uh, to fellow warriors, but it might give you some insight into the spirit of the American gunfighter. He wrote, when Sparta lacked fortifications, the king raised his hand and pointed to his men and said, these are Sparta's walls. I'm certain that if Tim McGill were in that formation, he would have made up half of that wall himself. 
He was a great man and a trusted friend. Be happy for Tim. He lived a man's life. He was a warrior and went out the way we all want to. We care not for death that comes late in life. As I lie on my back in the cool of night, spare me the easy transition to the spirit world. Take me violently. Be it by the thrashing jaws of gray sharks in the dark sea or the dull bayonet of my enemy. Unleash your waves of savages that will hunt me to the ends of the earth, your frontal assaults and your coordinated ambushes. Give me the focused mind of a reserve and main parachute entanglement. Give me the shock of an IED. Strike this bearded warrior from his horse on one last epic cavalry charge. And while you're at it, drop one danger close. Tim dared greatly, soldiered intensely, and did not die a coward. God bless Tim McGill. God bless these United States. Keep your actions clear, and we'll see you on the beach. That was a good friend of ours who'd gone through special forces selection with Tim. And those are some of the thoughts from him immediately upon hearing of Tim's death. And it gives you some insight into the spirit, into the spirit of the American warrior. Both Tim McGill and Mike Sim Simpson's families are here with us tonight. Some of the, the, the McGill family, the, the Simpson family have roots from Massachusetts. The McGill family drove up from New Jersey to be with us tonight. So I want to thank, I want to welcome both the McGill and the Simpson family. To th and thank them for being with us tonight.